place where Speedorama is in full speed. If you want to check out high performance cars, hot artists, or hot models, or just check out where you want to customize your car, this is the place to be. Let's check out what some of the excitement is going on here. You feel like stepping in a fantasy. You want someone to know that you're a pretty girl and it shows. I'll be like, whoa. She got a just like, whoa. whoa. Pretty nice thing with the tight corn rose. Rip from the top to the nice young toe. toe. Not only fine, but the girl she knows. Uh, that she a lot, lot more. Mo. Real smart thing with a free type soul. So. Do what you like, not do what you told. Toe. That's what a girl got the brothers like, whoa. whoa. I'm here with Chantal Cobell. She's placed third in the Speedorama uh, bikini pad here. And why not? Look at her. Beautiful. Like, whoa, this girl gonna be like, whoa. She's I can't What's her background? I'm mixed with French, German, Irish, Scottish, and Jamaican. Congratulations on your win. So how long have you been modeling for? Since I was 13. How old are you now? I'm 19. What made you decide to uh, venture out in this, this whole modeling industry? Really, it was my favorite model, my idol, Adriana Lima. I just wanted to be just like her, and then I started getting into it, and then now look at me. Well, my mom, she's 100% supportive. I always keep positive, and I always decide, like, I don't know, I don't let anything get in my way. What advice can you give to young girls out there that are wanting to get into this, this industry? Always keep your head up, and whatever you want to do in life, just if you keep your mind to it, you can achieve. Thanks a lot. That's Chantal Cobell. You can check her website out, ChantelCobell.com. So I'm out here, Ashley Boca. She's one of our models here. How long have you been modeling? Um, off and on, it's been for around 10 years. My mom was a model, so that's how I got into it. So what obstacles do you find yourself having to, to hurdle over, and how, how do you get by them? Basically, it's a lot of scheduling that you have to worry about. It's time management. Well, basically, there are always going to be con men in any field. So it's basically just being aware of what you want, being aware of your morals, um, sticking to those morals, and always just being cautious. You have to be trusting to an extent, but you also have to be cautious and like think self-preservation at all times. And don't do anything that makes you uncomfortable. Simple as that. All right. Thank you so much for talking to me. That's Ashley Boca. Check her out. I'm here with Edmund, one of the organizers of the Speedorama 2008 event. Now, he's been doing this for quite some time, notably in the Canada and U.S. Now, how long have you been doing it, and why did you decide to get into the import car scene? I basically started my company in 1998. It's called Race Mode Media, or Race Mode Inc., as a lot of people would know it. I started it from there. It was an online company. I just want to create something that people can go... Wow, you know, they come in, pay their $20 to watch a show or, a, you know, a car show. And then I want them to walk out forgetting how much they paid, that they enjoyed because they enjoyed themselves so much. Getting people to uh, see your vision and for them to see that you're trying to do something different for them. And now you're not, you're not just trying to make money out of the whole situation. Import car scene is a very young industry. Pretty much started 10, 12 13 years ago, a lot of the companies that are still known in the import industry, like the magazine that started to cover it, they're, they're only like 10, 11 years old right now. No pay, hey, don't need rocks, no escalades. Don't need no pay, hey, don't need rock stars. Cars and girls always, they always went together. But the essence of the whole thing is the, are the cars. Looking the creativity of building cars and you know showing how fast cars can go. At the end of the day, that's what the car shows are about. And everything around it is just really sizzle. Sizzles are cool, but really the essence are the cars and the car builders. I'm here with my long-term friend Trish. I haven't seen her in ages. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Ben. How are you? Good, good. I see your car. The car is still moving up and up and up. Now you've never ever told me this. How much did you drop on this 
since you bought it. You know what? I don't add it up there. If I had it up, I would have been out of here a long time ago. I don't add it up. Are you crazy? If you're doing this, it's because you like it. It's not because you're adding it up. But, you know, we have a lot of people to thank for that. We have two people on the team that I admire that helped me grow the team, like Wayne De Silva, who's sitting. He runs the Elite chapter. Irfan runs the Scarborough chapter. So they kind of all did their own thing and brought it up quite a bit. Um, I want all the motorsports companies and all the events producers that do motorsports productions. I, I invite them to come here so that they can sort of highlight their events throughout the year. So we're trying we're trying to make it a racers event, where if you're a racer or you're in the racing industry or a racing enthusiast, you come to Speedorama every year to find out what the schedule is or what's what's happening, what's going on, you know, what's what's the calendar going to be for the entire year. So we're, that's what I'm molding Speedorama. Me. That's really the vision of everything. When I come to a show, I love it. It's like, you know what, this is why I busted my butt for four days or 24 hours a day and, you know, and, and I'm here, so I'm having a good time and, you know. Right. I'm happy for you. You've got a lot of things going on. That's Edmund. He is one of the creators of the import car scene in Canada. Uh, we do a lot of uh, radio campaign, which we're starting, that's going to go across all across Canada. So uh, basically hitting all the media outlets simultaneously in a way where you have such an effect that everybody's talking about who you are. DD Reese Party is coming up. Uh, we're talking to negotiations with a lot of locations uh, to release the mixtape. Uh, we're going to have it here in Toronto. Hopefully we're going to take it to my back home where actually where I was raised up, Kitchener, Waterloo. And uh, we're going to take it all across Canada, man. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Good for you, good for you. Now, what do you say to all your fans out there? Um, stay blessed, stay righteous, stay conscious, and keep the movement going. And keep supporting Canadian music, especially Sound Boys, Dark Waters, LR, Champagne Gang, uh, Kelp Money Cartel. Everybody's out there who's doing their thing. Keep supporting that Canadian music because we're the next one to blow. Chris Alley, thank you so much for coming out here. If you want to check him out, his website, www.chrisalley.com. That's Chris with a K. And check out a CD release party sometime in March, right? Thank you for coming out. Music runs through my family, so it's basically like everybody does music, so I'm going to jump into it. I wouldn't tell any kids to jump into the music industry and make that your number one focus. I would say more to school. That, that, that's the whole thing that got me to this point where I'm at right now is school. How do you promote yourself out there? How do you how do you get yourself out there? Well, nowadays you got to do different type of promotion. Everybody has done um, different promotions with models, with, with shows, with posters, with flyers. Every promotion has been done. I got a new project coming out. I got like three projects I'm working on currently. For coming out, that's Tommy G. Be sure to check his website out, www.myspace.com forward slash Tommy G Music Space. Well, you've just seen that Speedorama is not only about cars, but a reflection of the import car scene that's growing worldwide. The live stage shows, the artists, the models are just some of the things that make car shows like Speedorama a place to be where not only car enthusiasts can enjoy. For Hottest and Sexy TV, I'm Bev Isla.